Hi, welcome to tutorial number 40 for CSCI 130 Introduction to Programming here at the University of Wisconsin Parkside. I'm thinking of um, doing something optional for those of you that want to do this with the posting, like adding a happy face and a sad face when we're grading the, the assignment. Just to uh, remind you what we did before, I'm pressing now the file. So we have a new question, for example, 9 times A, if I type uh, 72 and I say graded, it says correct. Now what I want is uh, correct and then a happy face. Now, new question, and then let's say here that I say Y, which is incorrect and I graded wrong, should give me a sad, a sad face. So I want to add that to today so so you don't have to do this but it will be very nice if you do it so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, to put, add some space here and I'm gonna look for a picture box so I'm gonna put a picture box here for the happy face and another picture box for the sad face well let's see if they are about the same size so let's just do one picture box because I want it like this, but then I'm going to say Control C to copy Control V. Why? So I know they are about the same size. So I have two boxes there. Now I need the, the pictures. So what we're going to do is open a browser here. So I got Google. And then what you need to type there, type happy face. Happy face. And you got some copy pastes, so go over it says images, and now you got a lot of images that says happy paste. So I'm gonna go with the first one. So I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna save the picture. So now you can put it in some location. So I'm gonna call this happy paste. So we just be sure that you find it. Happy paste, and let's see. Picture, sample pictures, I hope we can find it there. Well, you know what, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I'm going to, so the happy face, save it. So now I'm going to go back to my Visual Basic application. This is my happy face. So I'm going to look for the image here. So I'm going to right click. And then this is what I found. And then I'm going to say local resource, import. And we're going to look for that. So it's on my desktop here, desktop, there. So I'm going to click and I'm going to say open. Then I'm going to say OK. So now is that. So look at that, that. That is too big, right? So we're going to go and say something about the size. So it says size. Um, this book where it says zoom. There. So now is the size of my box, okay? Now let's do the same for the sad face. So I have something for the happy face, and, and then something else. I don't want it to, see, to that to be visible, so it should be something that says visible. So just be sure that you click on the picture again, and then visible through change that to false okay because we don't want we only want to see that when the question is correct so now let's go back to the browser so here let's go again to google now we're looking for a sad face so let's type sad face let's go images and let's do the same so let's find something that you like for sad face. The red one, this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Right click and select the right. Click. So I'm gonna right click, then say picture. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna call it also sad face. Sad underscore face. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Save it. 
I hope is there. So I'm going back to Visual Basic. I click on this text box, and then we look at image. So we're gonna get it from local resource import. It's right here. Open. Okay. Again, it's too big. So we go with this size, right? Size. It's normal. So there are options. We click on the one that says zoom. There. Perfect. So we got a happy face and a sad face. Oh, we need to also say, so click again on the sad face. We want that to be invisible right now. So it says visible, true, we change that to false. Let's click F5. So look, when when we got the, the when we start the application, we don't see the happy face and we don't see the sad face, right? Because um because we have them invisible. So what we want is when we got this and for example, here 99, we rate it, we want the happy face to be visible, okay? So, let's see, maybe we can even put one on top of the other, something like this, so at the same position. Okay, so now we go with the new quest, no, we grade it. So, here, we are... When it says correct, we're going to say picture box. Let me see. The sub page is picture box to one. So picture, sorry, picture box one dot visible. Remember that is invisible. I'll just put the course through. Okay. And then when it's wrong, we want the picture box 2 to be visible. Visible equals true. Okay, now when we are done, when we create the uh, question, we also want to be sure that the pictures are invisible, they are no longer there. So let's call picture box one dot visible equals false because I mean if they do the second question and the third question they're still gonna see the the, the picture also we need to be sure that when we're asking a new question these are invisible so visible so picture box two is also invisible Maybe we can also clear the text box. Text box one dot clear. There. Let's check now. F5. New question. 44. Rated. And a happy face. Isn't that nice? Now, new question. We don't want to see the happy face anymore. You know what? What we need to clear is the correct true. Hmm. Let's put this wrong. Ten. Graded. Sad face. Very nice. Let's do this something else here. Let's clear the text box. This text box is text. I mean the label. I'm sorry. Label six. So let's say also that label six dot text equals. Okay, so pressing F5. New question. 64. Graded. Tran. Correct. And the happy face. Now, new question. This is going to be clear. This is clear and this is gone. Excellent. Look. Clear. Nothing here and nothing there. Very good. 11. Graded. Wrong. Da da. There. Okay, so now for this, let's see who, I mean, how many of you can do the happy faces and sad faces. I'm not posting this code uh, because this is optional. Okay, I want to see who is going to be able to do it if you want to. I mean, you're not going to be penalized, but this looks very nice. Okay, thank you.